In this short video, you will get a brief introduction to the DGNB system, buildings in use, applicable for existing buildings. In the past year, the DGNB has significantly updated its system for certifying the building operation. The system Buildings in Use in version 2020 is a comprehensive tool for developing a strategy to not only manage but also transform existing buildings towards more climate action, resilience and sustainability. The new system can be applied to any building type which has been in operation for at least one year and it is internationally applicable and globally recognized. By using the system, you can lead your building stock into carbon neutrality by actively managing it. It is designed as a transformation and management tool applicable for all building types, and it is compatible with common CSR reporting systems. Through recertification of the building at least every three years, you can continuously assure the quality of your building through an independent, third party. The DGNB Buildings in Use scheme is based on the well-known three-pillar model of sustainability, which means that not only environmental aspects are evaluated during certification, but social and economic aspects are regarded too. From this diagram, you can tell that the economic, social and environmental aspects are weighted approximately the same. Both the economic and social qualities are weighted with 30% each in the performance index, while the environmental quality is weighted with 40%. Here you can also see that um, the system clearly focuses on climate action and energy, because this criteria alone makes up 30% of the total performance index. In comparison to the new international DGNB system version 2020 for new buildings, this DGNB system, building in use, is much leaner as it only evaluates nine criteria. Climate action and energy, water, materials and recycling, operating costs, risk management and long-term asset value, procurement and operations, indoor comfort, user satisfaction and mobility. As I mentioned before, when showing the weighting um, in the buildings in use system for the performance index, this system clearly focuses on climate action. By applying the certification system on your building, you will develop a project-specific climate action plan. The methods used to develop this climate action plan are described in the framework for carbon neutral buildings and sites. Thereby, the Climate Action Plan evaluates measures for their specific climate impact and costs, which means that the Climate Action Plan is very project specific. A further basic method used in the certification system is the Continuous Improvement Process, also known as PDCA cycle or Plan Do Check Act cycle. This is an iterative four step management method often used for optimizing processes. The system uses this method in five out of nine criteria, which means that in these five criteria, in plan, objectives are first established, then in the second step, data is measured, the th data is then analyzed, and at the end of one period, if the defined objectives were not achieved, measures are defined in order to improve during the next period. This method of continuously optimizing is applied in the first criteria N1B, climate action and energy, in which the target value of CO2 emissions is optimized. It is also applied in the second criteria N2B, water, in which the water consumption during building operation is optimized, and in the third criteria materials and recycling, to reduce the amount of waste created during building use. In evaluating the economic quality of the building in use, this um, continuous improvement process method is used in Eco 1B, 
um, operating costs in order to optimize or even reduce the operating costs. And when evaluating the social quality SOC 1B, um, in criteria SOC 1B, you ensure a pleasant indoor comfort. The remaining four criteria do not follow the PDCA cycle and other factors are analyzed and evaluated. In the second criteria of the economic quality, risk management and long-term asset value, uh, opportunity and risk analysis is conducted through which you will be cognizant of risks the building is confronted with and thereby you will be able to secure and even ensure the long-term asset value. In the criteria ECO 3B, procurement and operations, the objective is to reduce, reduce or even to avoid the use of environmentally harmful products and materials and to promote the sustainable building operations. The criteria user satisfaction promotes well-being for, for users um, by evaluating aspects such as user communication, user facilities, such as family friendliness, accessibility, health faci facilities, and the quality of space. And in the last criteria, mobility, um, the mobility infrastructure around the building is evaluated to promote sustainable mobility. At the end of the certification, you will be awarded with a DGNB Buildings in Use Certificate. These range from the bronze certificate, which you achieve with a total performance index of 35% and higher, over the silver certificate or gold certificate, up to the highest um, DGNB certificate award, platinum, which you achieve with a total performance index of 80% and higher. Simultaneously, the DGNB has also introduced a new DGNB award, the DGNB Award Climate Positive. This award is uh, it's specially dedicated to buildings which have a positive impact on climate change mitigation by having a net zero carbon building operation, which means that buildings are eligible to receive this award if they have a balanced annual carbon emission. Um, which is verified by their measured data. A further special feature of the buildings and use system is the DGNB portfolio certification. Because with the buildings and use system, you can certify your entire portfolio in three easy steps. In the first step, you would complete the initial certificate, which is where the criteria are evaluated, which are valid for all portfolio overarching aspects. In the second step, you would define the object specific criteria and the documentation needed for all the subsequent projects. And in the last step, you would prepare this documentation and the object specific aspects and hand them in for conformity assessment. And after conformity assessment, each individual building in your portfolio will, have a, will receive a certificate. All in all, you can therefore say that the DGNB system Buildings in Use is a comprehensive tool to develop a strategy with focus on climate action. It will lead your existing building stock towards carbon neutrality. It will support you in decreasing the operational costs and perhaps even increase the long-term value of your buildings. It will help you in optimizing the resource management in your building and yield satisfied building users and even help in building trust between tenants and investors. I thank you for your attention in this short video and my colleague Dietmar Geiselmann and myself Sima Isar will be happy to help you with any questions, further questions you might have um, for the DGNB system buildings in use.